This is basically the seal for motherboard. As you can see, we have ICs over here. Always you will find ceramic capacitors around the ICs. I'm going to teach you why exactly and how we can use the ceramic capacitor to detect whether the IC is good or not. The same also for the router. As you can see here, we have IC, the processor over here. Here we have another IC, we have certain capacitors. Here we have other ICs. This is basically the RAM. Let's discuss how to identify the pin number one of the IC. So always you are find for any IC, as you can see, a hole over here. Do you see, for example, for this, we have this hole over here. We have those here, but this is the hole. That means this is the pin number one. Or we have this triangle, as you can see here. So this is pin number one, pin number two, three, etc. For this IC, for example, this is basically the BIOS. Do you see, we have a hole over here and we have this mark means this is the pin number one two three etc the same for example for this IC we have this hole here and also this mark here means this is pin number one two three etc and for this IC as you can see over here this is basically the audio control IC that controls this connector for audio, as you can see. So this is the audio control. When you find, for example, those connectors or ports are not working, means you have problem with this IC. Here we have this hole, and this mark here means we have the pin number one, two, three, and so on. The same for this one. We have the mark here, okay? So if we go to tablet motherboard, as you can see, the same working principle. We don't have a hole, but we have this point. This dot here means over here we have pin number one. The same, for example, for this processor, we have a dot here, okay? The same here also we have here dot, okay? So for the seal for motherboard, as you can see, we have the same working principle. Let's see, for example, this IC. As you can see, we have the dot over here. You see this dot means this is the pin number one. And as I told you, always we have some capacitors around the IC. Here also we have the dot over here, means over here we have pin number one. Also we have a dot over here. Do you see this dot means this is the pin number one. And if we go here to this chips, this is basically the RAM. We have a dot over here and a dot over here means this is the pin number one. And over here, as you can see, we have a clear IC, as you can see, where we have the dot here, do you see? And over here, we have one. Do you see here? One. Here, we have one, two, three, until 32. Here, we have 32. Here, we have 33. And as you can see, 64, 65, 66, 7, until 96, as you can see, and 97, 98, until 128 this, so this IC basically has 128 pin if you focus here as you can see we have this path over here these lines do you see these lines basically are not the same as this one so this is a bolded line this bolded line means here we have power here we have this VCC and those line as you can see here a thin lines means this is just signals those also and over here also we have control signals but this bolted line here means this pin the pin 64 hold VCC so so using this method you can now do import voltage for every IC without the schematic so do you see for this IC for example here we have many lines and path this is basically for control signal do you see a thin lines and over here we have a very bolded line this line as you can see here this is ground this is not Input voltage, this is ground. Okay, and over here we have control signal. So here you see this bolted line and this also connected to the ceramic capacitor. So this is the input power over here. And here, as you can see, this is the ground. Okay, do you see the ground? So the ground is connected to the IC in this pin, in this pin also, as you can see, all these are ground, 
and in this pin also we have ground this is basically ground if I, I put one probe of the multimeter here and another probe in the ground I will get a buzzer a continuity okay so this is how I can I can now whether the pin is connected to the ground or to power rail or is just an enable signal so guys if you understand this trick you can analyze any circuit or IC so let's see for example this MOSFET as you can see over here so this pin as you can see is connected to this line do you see this line it's a thin line but this pin is connected to a bolted line as you can see so means this is the gate why the gate Be because this is the control signal a thin line and this one this is basically the source do you see the bolted line and here we have the drain so the power is passed from this terminal to drain to source as you can see and here we have the gate as you can see do you see the gate so this MOSFET also I can even know the control IC so this IC control this MOSFET as you can see because we have this line coming from here okay so do you see also the audio control IC as you can see here all these are just control signals as you can see we have control signals and we have extensions as I told you before in the previous video okay and you will find usually all pins of the pins of any IC are connected to serial capacitors or resistors that's why for example here let's look for the power where we have the VCC here as you can see do you see the bolded line this bolded line means we have VCC here the VCC is connected to this serum capacitor means if you don't find here VCC you should check this serum capacitor if is it good or not because this is the, the, the capacitor that feeds this IC with the VCC or the input voltage so also in the circuit diagram you will find the same working principle as you can see do you see over here this is a bolded line so this bolded line basically means we have a high voltage over here and those lines as you can see means just a signal a low voltage so if you pay attention here so let's see here guys we have a note in the schematic here do you see this line means a high power trace 19 volt so let's see an IC for example let's see this IC over here do you see here we have this line over here this is a bolted line we have the V voltage the V reference and over here we have this line for example this is for compensation this line this is just enable signals and for, vo for the voltage we, we have this bolted line exactly as the IC control signals lines and we have this bolted line means the power for the IC exactly as we have in the motherboard as you can see so the, the, these thin lines is for just enable signals and the bolted line here is for power as you can see so here for example if you don't find her let's assume that the power here is 5 volt if you didn't find here 5 volt you should go and check this capacitor is it good or not so here we have the IC guys that we're going to study as you can see so if you understand what I'm going to say right now you can understand test and fix any IC you have so basically over here we have the IC the integrated circuits and as I, as I told you before always around the integrated circuit you will find many components especially ceramic capacitors so for the ceramic capacitors there is two kinds of ceramic capacitors power capacitors and data capacitors for power capacitors are the capacitors that feed the IC with the voltage like this one for example do you see this one here we have a bolded line means the input for this IC is from here so this pin of the IC is connected to this capacitor as you can see we have the path here and the other terminal of capacitor connected as you can see to ground 
We can even check using the multimeter. So let's put the multimeter to the continuity option. As you can see, let's check. The continuity option is seated correctly. So if I put one probe here, as you can see, and the other probe in this terminal, do you see? So this serum capacitor is connected to the IC in this terminal. But in the other terminal, this capacitor is connected to the ground, as you can see. Do you see? Why? Because we have this path over here connected to ground. This is ground, basically. So all capacitors around the IC, you will find it connected to the IC in one side and to the ground in the other side.